We are taught from a very young age that aircraft generally hide fuel tanks inside their wings. That remains true, for the most part, but now that a new breed of aircraft called VTOL is making its way into the world, wings begin to be home to something else entirely. Like say, no less than 14 lift fans. That's what's happening in the case of an aircraft design called Caver X7. For all intents and purposes, it's a design unlike any other in the VTOL world so far, and it is doubled by the fact that the wings themselves are transformable. That's right, transformable. The Kavert X7 is a project being run by a Canadian startup called Horizon Aircraft. It looks more like a conventional aircraft than a VTOL in the traditional sense, but in all fairness it should be better than both of them. Yes, the aircraft has a center fuselage and wings installed on top of that, but their role is not to provide lift and fuel in the traditional fashion. At least, not entirely. The fan and wing design of the Kavert X7 means that the 14 lift fans are used to generate thrust for vertical takeoff or landing. When the machine is in the air, sliding panels are used to hide the fans and turn the wing into a conventional one that keeps the aircraft flying. In some cases, the Kavert can land like a conventional airplane as well, and in this case the fans continue to be hidden as well. The wings themselves are called in Horizon Speak HOVR, and there are actually four of them, two main and two canard ones. The main ones hold five fans each, with the remaining four fans evenly split between the canards. But what happens when the lift fans are hidden, given how they were clearly not made to keep the Kavert X7 moving? The answer is simple, that roll falls upon a propeller installed at the rear. Although we've known about this for a while, the question remained what kind of technology would be used to spin both the lift fans and the propeller. This week we may have a potential answer after Horizon announced a tie-up with another aviation startup Zeroavia. This crew is in the business of retrofitting small and medium passenger planes with hydrogen power plants in the bid of giving them new capabilities. And one of its star products, already tested on real-life aircraft, is something called the ZA600. In a nutshell, the name designates a 600 kW hydrogen system meant to provide zero-emission propulsion for aircraft with up to 20 seats. It was designed to draw its fuel from hydrogen tanks that can hold enough of the stuff to keep it going for as much as 345 miles. Those are, more or less, the targeted specs of the Kavert X7. When fully operational, the VTOL is expected to be able to carry a total of 8 people, including the pilot, and a total weight of 1,800 pounds when taking off in a conventional fashion, to distances of up to 500 miles. The targeted top speed of the thing is 280 miles per hour, which is admittedly much higher than what other VTOLs currently in the works should be capable of reaching. Just like the range of the Kavrit, if you really think about it. Back in May 2025, Horizon announced it conducted a test of the VTOL, making it the first aircraft in the world to achieve a stable transition to forward flight using this new type of fan and wing design. Granted, many of the details of the test, including the where and when, but also what kind of powertrain was used, still remain shrouded in mystery. The deal Horizon struck with Zeroavia will see it exploring Zeroavia's ZA600 hydrogen electric powertrain for the Kavert X7, but no actual details on what that is supposed to mean were provided. We do have a general sense of what to expect, as Horizon said the Kavert equipped with a hybrid electric powertrain should emit 30% less hydrocarbons than conventional aircraft in similar operating conditions, and should be 30% cheaper to operate than a helicopter. We also have no idea on when to expect an announcement regarding the VTOL's powertrain to be made, nor do we have a timeframe for its actual entry into service, apparently, a full-scale, piloted technical demonstrator is currently in the works. The idea seems pretty legit, and it has already attracted the attention of the US Department of Defense, as the machine is not solely meant to transport passengers, but could also be used to deliver supplies to remote areas, medevac, and natural disaster response. It remains to be seen whether the Zero Avia powertrain will be the one selected to power the VTOL, but even if it is, you should keep in mind that Horizon has already announced plans to eventually use a fully electric powertrain at some point in the future.